have a need in an application that I'm working on at the moment in Flash Builder using Flex and I discovered that I needed to convert a basic number into hours and minutes and the reason being is I have a simple function a timer that class that I created and you'll find if you search for timer on the uibuzz.com website there is actually the class file out there in a tutorial but I'm using that it increments a number by one every time once a minute and so I needed to convert this number to hours and minutes. And I thought, well, this is going to be pretty simple and pretty straightforward. And I dived into the framework and some documentation and discovered that actually it's not that simple. And after searching the web and looking at other people's solutions and suggestions, they all involved things like regular expressions to break down the date format and the string to get the time out. And, and all these sorts of things that just to me seemed really bloated and I thought there has to be a simple way. Well, after sort of beating my head against the table for a while, I came up with this solution. Now, there is a little caveat here and I only needed the clock to run for a maximum of 24 hours. So after 24 hours, the actual code here would break and you'd need to do some additional formatting. But any number that was below 24 hours or 1440 minutes would actually work just fine for my needs. So let me give you an example here. If I put in 100 and say convert number, it's going to give me 1 hour 40 minutes. If I put in say 600, it's going to give me 10 hours. Uh, you know, I think you see how this is working here. 645, it's going to give me 10 hours 45 minutes. So that's uh, an example of how it works. So let's dive into the code and, and I'll show you how I did this. So just to go over it again, I have a, a simple application here. We have a, a label at the bottom with a default text string that I've just put in there. We have a button uh, that calls a function when you click it and we have an input box here. So going over to the source, that's those items down there as you can see. And the only other stuff I have in here is up in the declarations, I have a date for formatter with an ID of num to time and the format string of J and N. Now, let's go over this very quickly. I'm gonna jump over to the Adobe help here and we're gonna look at the date formatter. And if you scroll down in the help file, you'll see that it has a list here and some examples for the patterns that you can match. So in my case, if we go down and you look here, you can see that J is the hour in the day, naught to 23 and n or nn is going to be the minutes so we have hours and minutes so that's you know that's where that is in there look in the help file if you need to do something different like days or something like that am and pm so be sure to check the help file now let's go back to flash builder here so what happens is we have this date formatter here and you put a number in the box and when you click the button it calls this function here format number to time and expects a number value. Now the number value that it puts in there is the text string in that input box. And I have a little conditional check here to sort of get you started if you need to go past 24 hours. And basically we say, you know, if the incoming value is more than 1440, which in this case would be 1440 minutes, then, you know, if it's less than that, go ahead and do something. And if it's more, we're going to switch on down to the else. And this is where you would put extra formatting and checking for anything over 24 hours. But basically this one line of code here, what we do is we create a new date object and then we go through. And if you look in the help file, like I say, you'll see that, you know, we have years, days and months and so on. And this last value here, this one here is minutes. Now, Honestly, I didn't think this was going to work because I figured anything over 60 minutes is, is going to break, but it doesn't. So I was really pleasantly surprised when it works. So what we can do here is in this minutes at the end here, we can put in any value we like and it'll automatically convert it into 60 minutes for us and upscale to hours if needed. So basically we create this new date object. We've put in the minutes here from the incoming value and then Basically, I just say, you know, a formatted time string here is going to be basically going in and calling this formatter up here with this date object. So we are, you do have to create an, a complete date object, but the only value we're really putting in here is minutes. And then we send that up to the formatter up here and the formatter is going to return back to us 
this formatted string of hours and minutes. And then I just have the function return that. And basically when it returns it, you can see that what happens down here, when you click the button, you know, it sends this text out and it just says, okay, you know, the label that I have to display the text, I just want you to take that return and put that in the text box. So that's my simple solution that I think is pretty low on the overhead as far as computation and everything else to convert anything less than 24 hours to take that one number and convert it to hours and minutes. So I hope this is helpful and it certainly saved me a lot of time and trouble and uh, make the most of it. Thank you.